Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what you want and what I want are two different things. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I want you to remove all the fraud. So. Mm -hmm. I want you to do that. Mm -hmm. See, there's what's known as to write and to writ. Uh -huh. Now, to write is to form symbols or letters, to form words on a surface, to communicate by writing. Mm -hmm. To earn a living by writing books. Yes. But then there's that writ. Oh. A written court document directed to a public official or individual ordering a specific action. Mm -hmm. Archaic, passive voice of right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I've written, yes, lots of emails. Mm -hmm. And you've arrested me lots of times. Mm -hmm. And in the writing uh -huh, of emails, I'm able to document in court, yes, that you obstructed my emails. Mm -hmm. Now, you can see that I wasn't intentionally trying to contact the petitioner. Yes, because you obstructed my emails on the 30th and 31st. Mm -hmm. But then you made up a fake crime where you arrested me. Yeah, because I wasn't in swim. Mm -hmm. But I made sure, yes, that I could document in a court of law. Your fraud, mm -hmm. your obstructions, your conspiracy, your hate crimes, uh -huh. your treason. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say that you decided to issue a writ today mm -hmm. from any court of the United States that you're going to remove the fraudulent protection order. Yes, because I wasn't given any notice or opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. The petitioner didn't sign it, yes. And she didn't acknowledge that I was actually an intimate partner, right? That I was a credible threat, yes. And that I received actual notice of court hearings. And then you're going to remove the dissolution of marriage and you're going to give me custody of my sons mm -hmm. because I didn't get any notice of court hearings. Yes, Mike Van Proyen turned the electricity off on me. Yeah, I was at my grandmother's for Christmas of 2012 and there was no possible way that all of my relatives did not know that I was at grandma's house. Yes, and what address you could have sent court notices to. Mm. Now, the idea that the petitioner couldn't have served me in Auburn, Washington on, well, any time from December 20th of 2012 mm -hmm. until approximately February 15th of 2013, yeah, is absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Wayne did know I was there. Oh, he asked me to move out. Yeah. My Aunt Lori did know I was there. Yeah. <laughs> she visited numerous times while being there. Ouch. My cousins did know I was there. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. My mother mm -hmm. did know I was at my grandmother's house. Yes. On December 25th of 2012, and I was there for approximately two months after Christmas. Oh. <laughs> now, these relatives that have been paying for your four-wheel drives? Yes. Wayne Condit, yes, Laurel Ann Argyle, yes, Sandra Taylor, right now, they've been paying a lot of money to bribe those in office. Now, let's see what you set up. You said I was in Jefferson County on June 16th of 2017. I gave you the videos that I made that morning while sitting in front of the Masonic Temple, yes, I gave you uh, the upload times, yes, and the emails I sent that day. Yes, and I can prove that I wasn't in Jefferson County on June 16th of 2017, mm -hmm. and I never emailed any of the co-workers of Heidi Lee Budneck in the Brennan School District. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Now, when you decided to dismiss the case, yes, for incompetence because of the fraudulent mental health evaluation, yeah. And the DCMP said, well, if you don't order restoration, I'm going to do the... Now I gave you Joel's law. Oh, wow!